Hello everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, or Blessed Bobbles, however you'd like to say it. Thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to offer you some matching jewelry bags. That is when I take the jewelry from the jewelry unboxings or from places that I've shopped and I match them all together in what I think are good color matches. It's a little bit difficult to match gold tones with gold tones and all of the different color pearls, but I do spend time on it and I hope you love the sets. So thanks for joining me. Before we get started, if you see something you like, please send me an email at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Can you tell I'm from Cape Cod, Massachusetts? <laughs> and please send me these four pieces of information. The episode number a brief description of what's in the bag, the bag number, and the price given. Okay, thank you for sharing that info. I'll be able to let you know pretty quickly if it's sold or not. So that would be great if you send that to me. Also, don't worry about sending me several emails during a video. Um, I don't mind, and I'd like for you to get your request in as soon as you can and not miss something you love. So no worries about that. I never get mad at getting several emails. And also, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. I'm still enjoying this great big sign that my son made for me. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Just click that subscription button. It is absolutely free, and no one will harass you. Let me know if you're a new subscriber. And as I always say, even if you've been around for a while, I'd love to hear from all of you in the comment section. So thank you for that. So ding, ding, hit the bell so you'll be notified of my next video. Thank you so much. And Buster is here. As you all know, we named him Buster. He is a little worn out. I did buy a new one, but it has some kind of weird yellow color on it. I've never even used it and it has this. So we're gonna have to get another new Buster. So he has a little bit of ink, but it'll be okay, I think. All right, as you know, I unveil the bag of jewelry to you slowly so you know what's in it. And number one is called Brighten with Class. Okay, so bag number one, that's what it's called. Come on over, Buster. So first we have this absolutely gorgeous Brighton brand jewelry necklace with the two-tone silver and gold. It also has some beautiful rhinestones up here at the top of the of the bale. It is Brighton. It's on a nice long snake chain. Here is your Brighton clasp and the Brighton tag right here. I hope my lighting is good. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So it's in great shape. I don't think it's ever been worn. It looks brand new. So we do have this beautiful necklace in the two tones. And the necklace measures, see my note, 24 to 26 inches on the necklace. So it's a nice long piece. And then I have the bracelet that actually matches. It's the same exact um, piece that came with this set. And, oh, I should have wrote down the name of what this particular set is called. But just the same, here's the bracelet. And it's also never been worn. It's in great condition. And there is the Brighton name right on the bottom. So absolutely beautiful. I love that this set has the rhinestones with it. I think that's really pretty. So see how it has all the rhinestones, matches that. And the bracelet is six and a half to six and three quarters. There's a little bit of in between there. Now, I couldn't find clip-ons. You all know that I like to give you a pair of clip-ons and pierced, but there just wasn't anything I was happy with that matched. But I do have this multi-metal gold, silver, and a little bit of copper on the pierced earrings. And they have gold wires to as... Um, you know, the pierced wires and brand new backs on them. So that's what I have. There was nothing else to add. It was great just like this. So we have 
set number one called Brighton with class. And there's your multi-metal earrings. Also, it's a hammered, hammered gold tone texture on the earrings as well. And the gorgeous bracelet. Oops, it's fine. <laughs> and the lovely Brighton necklace. I think it's really elegant. It's daily wear, plus maybe a little bit fancy for the holidays. So I hope you love bag number one. I'm going to try really hard to not write on Buster because that's what I've been doing. So bag one, Brighton with class, is going to be $56. Okay, so if you love that set, let me know and I will send bag number one to you. Bag number two, I try to have something for everyone, and I hope I accomplish that, is called Still Beaching. Okay, so bag two is Still Beaching. And this is a really beautiful abalone necklace. It's a gigantic piece of abalone, quite beautiful. I love the way they cut it and had it go that way. There's the back. And it's on this braided cord that has never been worn. It's in perfect condition. And the closure is this beautiful little shell. So I thought that was quite an outstanding piece. It is about 16 to 18 inches. It's a little bit tough to measure something on a triangle like that. But again, the cording is perfect. About 16 to 18 on that piece. And to go with it, I love this bracelet. It's gold and black enamel with the starfish on it. So the theme is great. And this is a sequin brand bracelet. The name is right inside. So they are very nice enamel bracelets, very well made. It's a clamper. And this is about seven inches. So I love that gold tone and all the goldens in the shell with that bracelet. I thought it looked so great. Then for clip-ons, I have these gold tone little shell earrings and they're in really good shape. Let's see, they clip on like that. So that's how they'd be worn on the ear. Super cute, right? Now, the best part aside from the necklace is these great earrings. They are gold tone they have real pearls, they have uh, labradorite, and some sodalite. So let me separate it so you can see. And the, the um, earring wires are really thick, the front part of them. So And then they drop down to this cute little hoop. So you've got real pearls and gemstone here, and then you have them again on the bottom. Plus, you have this little shell with gold on it. So I just couldn't resist. I thought the earrings were fantastic with the necklace. And aside from them having all those sea themes in them, they really look great with that. All the colors pick up together. So I really love that set. And now you know why I called it Still Beaching. I don't see any precious metal on those earrings, although they do have gemstones and real pearls. So here you go. Set number two, still beaching. You have the gemstone and pearl earrings, the gold tone clip-ons that are little shells, the starfish and gold sequin brand bracelet, and this beautiful giant abalone necklace with the button pearl. So I hope you liked that one. It was fun to put that one together. And for this one, I am going to say $34. Okay, so bag number two is $34. I never know the prices until I unbag the jewelry. I spend a lot of time matching, cleaning, fixing. But when it gets to the pricing, I don't know. I just like to wait to the last minute and see what happens. Bag number three is called TLC for KJL. KJL is Kenneth J. Lane. And this week I found this really great necklace. 
I've been waiting for a multicolored pearl or a two-tone pearl piece. And here it is. So I'll show you the tag first. It says, let's see, does it say KJL or Kenneth? It says KJL on the on the hang tag. And it has a gold tone lobster claw and beautiful hand knotted faux pearls. They're all glass pearls. They feel really great. And then they come into these blue silvery pearls on the bottom. It is a graduated necklace. It's beautiful. It's very long, 36 inches. So it's a stunner. I'm not sure if this would be a double. Like if you could wear it as a double, that would be up to you. But I'll put it that way just so you can get a good look at it on the buster. And then to go with it, I have this uh, white and gray, I guess I should say. Also a glass bracelet and it's on a memory wire. They're all in great shape. It's not exactly the color, but it's close enough and it looks good. It doesn't have a designer, but it has this great little silver tone crystal on the end of the bracelet. Really good shape. I do love it with that. I think it looks good. And again, matching the color of the pearls and all of that is, is not easy, but I do enjoy it. And for earrings that are pierced, I have these gray, silver, blue color, very dangly, elegant earrings. They're also glass pearls, and they're on silver wires. Oh, I just love those two colors. They're so classy and beautiful. Come on, Buster. And if you didn't want to wear the dangles, I have some glass pearl earrings that are very nice quality, silver tone posts, and I like those with it too. So this is bag number three, TLC for KJL. You've got post earrings and the faux pearls, all glass, the deeper gray, the lovely four strand bracelet with all glass pearls, and the Kenneth J. Lane necklace Again, all hand knotted. Just a really beautiful piece. And from my friend Frida, here's your jewelry sounds. <laughs> okay, so that's bag number three. And for the KJL, I will say let's do 42 on that set. Okay, so if you love bag number three, just let me know at that email address. I have several other bags of gorgeous rhinestone sets that I put together. I think I'm going to hold off on those until we get a little bit more into the holiday season. I just don't want to put the bags of jewelry out there if it's too soon, you know. But if you're looking for something like that, let me know because I have some absolutely stunning things. Okay, so this one I didn't put the number on. So I think we're on set number four. And I, for half an hour, I tried to figure out what to go with citrine. And this is all I came up with. So after hundreds and hundreds of these bags, I think I have the right to not be creative with the word citrine. So if you think of something, let me know. This is a really pretty set. We have this lovely dainty chain. It's like a delicate little rope chain, silver tone. And it comes down to this beautiful pendant that has an actual real citrine stone on it. Look how many cubic zirconias are around the outside. I'll give you a close up, they're just beautiful. So this is a real citrine, tested it on the Miss Prissy. I don't know if it's a lab grown citrine. Do they do that with citrines? Not sure, but it definitely is a citrine. And I did notice when I picked this up that it had a slight yellow color to it, and now I know why. So there's the back. I don't see any sign of precious metal, but that sure is a citrine. The necklace measures 18 to 21 inches, fully extended. And, oh, I hope you can see the sparkle. It's really beautiful. I'm going to 
to fuss with my lights again because you've got to see the sparkle. It's so pretty. So many gemstones or rhinestones around it or cubic zirconias. And the fun part with this set is that I have the matching earrings. And they, of course, also have citrine in them. Can you see just that touch of yellow? So same as the necklace, a little bit smaller on the earrings as it should be. And they are post earrings on silver tone posts. So just a beautiful set of genuine citrine stone. I'm forgetting that I have this bracelet thing that I can put up here that helps. Yeah, that's good. I have this bracelet. Now this is not citrine, but I thought it looked really good because it has the center stone and stones around it. So I thought it picked up pretty well. It's one of those that's on the older stretch, those really good stretches. I don't see a maker's mark on it, but it is pretty. It sits at a six and three quarter, but again, it's on a stretch. And then for something a little bit more minimalist, I have a pair of rhinestone earrings. They are prong set, beautifully cut, and yeah, they're post earrings with brand new backs. So that's our set. I put the bracelet thing up there. It doesn't always work, but you get the idea. So bag number four, real citrine stone. We have the lovely necklace. I think they did a great job choosing that chain for that pendant because it's delicate. And then you get this shabam, that big, beautiful pendant. Gorgeous earrings some stud earrings, and what I think is a pretty good match for a bracelet. So, real citrine set, bag number four, and I will say 36 on this set. So if you love citrine, that's the set for you. Let me know about bag number four. Bag number five. I had fun putting this one together. And I didn't name it either. Okay. Bag number five. Hmm. All right. This is a J. Crew set. And again, I couldn't figure out a name. Oh, I know what I'll call it. J. Crew Disco. So bag number five is called J. Crew Disco. We'll start off with the necklace, and there's your J. Crew clasp and that maker's mark tag. It's on this paper clip chain, which is so cool. And it comes down to these cut crystal stones and what I call disco rhinestone balls. And they are set in gold tone as well. And then it comes down to this and that at the bottom. So isn't it beautiful? It's 30 inches long. Great quality with J. Crew. I love the crystals. I love how chunky they are. It's just a very beautiful necklace. Now to go with this, I have this pair of earrings. They are rhinestone. I just like the circular shape to them. I really would have loved to find some that had this on them that, you know, the round ball, but this is a pretty good match. It does pick up on that shape and it looks good together. So I'm happy with that one. And a gold tone rhinestone bracelet. It's not on a stretch, but it's actually an expandable. So in great shape, great rhinestones on the gold tone color. For clip on earrings, I'm adding these sort of octagon gold tone clips. They're super cute. The gold tone matches very nicely. So I love those with that. I don't know why. I think the, the square and the round and the angular just looked really good to me. And then I'm going to add this cute little brooch of the Eiffel Tower. It's gold tone. It's pretty. And I just liked it. It looked like it really could go. 
So I'm adding that as well. So this is our set number five. So happy with the gold tone clip-ons, with the circular rhinestone pierce, with this very nice looking gold tone stretch bracelet. By the way, it sits at a seven, but of course it stretches. And then your Eiffel Tower little brooch and the nice long J. Crew necklace with the big crystals on it. All the rhinestones are there. It's just a great piece. And their gold tone is really terrific. So there's your necklace. That is set number five, J. Crew Disco. And for that one, I will say, well, let's do 29. Okay, so if you love bag number five, let me know. Bag number six is a ooh la la. Ooh la la, what did I call bag number six? Okay, number six is called AB Holiday. So AB is are the initials for Aurora Borealis, which is a special coating on rhinestones that actually Swarovski invented. I think he invented. I'm reading my gemstone, my old glass books, and I have a feeling someone else might have invented it before him, but let's not tell anyone because I don't know for sure. <laughs> okay, we have this AB crystal necklace, absolutely classic, and it's really in perfect condition. The clasp on it is fantastic. Silver tone, there is no name on it, but it's original stringing and has not been restrung. And it's beautiful, it's just in really wonderful shape, which I love. Now, they are usually 17 inches, but this one is actually 18. I love that larger rhinestone on the end. Now, this has sort of round faceted pieces on the necklace and then the bicone in between. And I tell you that because the earrings actually match the necklace. They have the same stones and they came with it. So again, you have that same shape on the necklace as you do on the earrings and as you do in between as well. So I do believe these actually match. I did buy them together. So there's your clip on AB crystal earrings. So beautiful. And bracelets are hard to come by with the Aurora Borealis, but I do have this one. I think it's so lovely. It has AB crystals here, regular crystals in the middle, but the AB crystals are really sparkling beautiful. It is on that older stretch, which I love. It sits at about a six and three quarters, but again, it's on the stretch. So really perfect condition on this AB set and bag six, AB holiday. We have this bracelet, beautiful sparkle, the earrings. I'll have to rebag everything after because I really don't like the jewelry to just be put in there together. And this gorgeous necklace, really terrific condition. And again, something that's been around for a long time that someone took care of but that you will have for a long time because it's well made on a wire and in great shape. So I hope you really appreciate that bag. Bag number six, AB Holiday, matching necklace and earrings. And I'll say 43 on that one, okay? Really love the condition of that. This was a super fun set. I have a box of jewelry that I hold on to of vintage pieces. And as I go along, I just kind of, they just kind of emerge, the sets emerge together. Now, hmm, I don't know what I'm gonna call this set. So I hope I can come up with something. This is a vintage necklace in a wonderful gold tone. And I wanna say it's like a large Byzantine. It does look like a Byzantine kind of a shape, but I'm not exactly sure, but I am sure that it's beautiful. 
The gold tone on it is fantastic. Again, it doesn't look like it's been worn. It's, oh, and I love the larger spring ring. So there's the necklace, it's so pretty. It's 18 inches long. And to go with that, I have this beautiful brooch. This looks so much like the famous Monet brooch of this same sort of design. So I think maybe it got copied a little bit. And this could, if you wanted to, it could go on the necklace and you could wear it as a pendant, but that's up to you. I think it looks stunning. You just, of course, you secure the pin on the back and it, you can just put it through the little um, chains like I have it right here. Just put it through those and button it and it hangs really nicely. So big, chunky, gold tone vintage chain, lovely brooch. And then I have this Monet gold tone bracelet with some textured, twisty sort of texture with some sparkly cuts in between. This is branded Monet inside right here. So there's your Monet name tag. The bracelet is seven and three quarters. Oh, that's a good idea, putting it to the side. And to go with this for clip-ons, I have a pair of Monet clip-on earrings. I love those. I thought the swirliness was just great with everything. So let me show them to you close up. So there you go with your Monet gold tone clip-ons. And of course, for a pair of pierced, I love these two for one earrings. You can wear just the studs or you can wear them inside the back piece, which is surrounded by all those beautiful crystals. So I just love that sparkle added to that set. So what should we call this one? First of all, this is bag number seven. And, hmm, I don't know. I think we'll just call it Vintage Gold. Bag seven, Vintage Gold. And in this one, you've got Monet clip-on earrings, a Monet bracelet, lovely two-for-one earrings, nice backs on them this really great vintage chunky brooch and of course everything works great this really looks like the monet one so there you go with that and this really beautiful chunky necklace with the large spring ring so that was a fun one to put together i'll call it vintage gold and we will say 43 on this one. So hope you love that. All the gold tones match each other, which does take some time. And I hope it saves you some time for having to go out and match certain gold tones and, and all of that. And I think I'll leave that bag in there. Okay, so bag number eight. At least I gave this one a name. Bag number eight is called Chevron Shine. Okay? This is a lovely necklace. It has this beautiful chevron shape. It's gold tone with rhinestones embedded in the necklace and beautiful black enamel. Nice thick enameling. Great job they did on this. A beautiful snake chain and a lobster clasp with a little bit of an extender. So absolutely beautiful. There's the back, and I love how the rhinestones are actually embedded right into the necklace. This, again, is a little bit difficult to measure, but I think it sits around 18 inches on the necklace. For a bracelet, oh, this just went perfectly. It has the white black enamel, and these embedded rhinestones. And this, I think, is also a sequin brand bracelet. Yep, branded right there. And look how that goes. I really love it. So again, a clamper, about seven inches on the clamper, and just a really terrific match. 
for the clip-ons, I have these white and gold enamel clip-ons. These might be Monet, I'm not sure. They're really good quality. They're that old school, almost like a signer kind of jewelry with that texture inside. So they would clip this way and they're just beautiful. So I like those with it too. They kind of tie the bracelet in with the necklace and the whole thing. Now the earrings are really interesting because they are some kind of a gemstone, but I can't tell which gemstone it is. They test, I guess, up into maybe onyx or further. So I don't know. They're very, very dark. They could be um, hematite. I, I don't know. I'd have to look up what hematite tests as. But they're in the silver tone, almost like a crown setting. Very beautiful. I liked them because they were so dark, sparkly, and they are real gemstones. So I thought that was super fun. So in bag 18 called Chevron Shine, we have the gemstone earrings, the clip-on earrings, this really great bracelet by Sequin, and the fabulous chevron necklace, a gold tone, in just great shape. So just a beauty. And for this one, I like to go put it in very carefully. Bag number eight, I would say, oh, we'll do $30 even, okay? So that's the price for bag number eight. I hope you love it. That was really different, right? I guess I should stop and remind you how to purchase in case you're just tuning in or you went somewhere and made a cup of tea and are coming back. But here's my email. It's capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And let me know the episode number, brief description of the jewelry, the bag number, and the price. And I'll let you know if it's available, okay? Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it so much. This is another necklace I've had around for a while. It's super fun. And yeah, I added a little something to it to kind of snazz it up. So we are on bag number nine. And this one is called Lady in Gold and Red. Lady in Gold and Red. Okay. So the necklace is this, I don't know how old this piece is, but the clasp is this little hook, which is pretty cool. You just kind of press down on it and open it up. I keep looking for a mark somewhere because this is such a fantastic piece. It's on this like large paperclip style chain and it comes down to this big gold medallion. It's so pretty. It's nice and clean. It's like a filigree almost. Just beautiful, bold, romantic, charming. The chain is in great condition. Isn't that super? So I love this piece. It's 28 inches long and it can look fantastic. Doubled if you'd like. So there's that one, just a really nice big golden medallion. And it's curved like a dome, so that's pretty too. It's about three inches. So 28 inches long and three inches wide. And with it, I just thought, let's see what piece that I show you first. I love this red rose and gold tone brooch. It's in super great condition. Again, the gold tone matches with the necklace, which is important. And the rose is just so pretty, standing there so proudly. So I'm loving that with that. Since you have such a big pendant, the brooch can be tiny and just look lovely. And then I'm adding these cloisonne earrings and a beautiful gold tone lever back. And they are red and gold with a little bit of green and blue. And they have this sort of iridescent bead on the bottom. So just a beautiful pair of earrings. I love the busyness with the 
pendant. I thought that looked really pretty and that it would go. And for a bracelet, oh, I love this red enamel sculpted gold tone bracelet. Nice thick bangle. It's not marked, but it's great. The red color is super. It's an eight and a half, so pretty nice size for a bangle. You don't often see an eight and a half. So I just love the little touch of red everywhere. I think it looks great. And for clip-ons, I have another great pair of Monet that have this little sweeping design on them. So I always like to show you how they go on the ears so you know how they would look when you wear them. So that's pretty, right? Gold tone, swirly, picking up on the movement of the necklace. So there's your pair of Monet. And these I think are called comfort clip because they clip wherever you want them to. They don't spring on you, they just kind of press. So yeah, those are called comfort clip Monet earrings. So lady in gold and red, you have this nice large bangle with the, with the red enamel. These beautiful cloisonne earrings with the lever backs, the sweet little rose brooch, which I love. Standing so proudly, your Monet clip on earrings, and this really fantastic. I hope I don't hate myself for selling necklace. It's nice and long, 28 inches. Just a great piece. What a great vintage piece. So I hope you love that. All the gold tones are matched up for you. And I think that's a special necklace. I'm going to price this one at, let's do 49 I think the necklace alone could go for that. But I love to give you a deal. And that's bag number nine, lady in gold and red. Back number 10, and again, I have some fantastic rhinestone sets. It's so hard for me to not show them to you today, but I think I should wait because once I show them, that's it. The videos don't really get shown a second time, so I gotta catch you while I can. Bag number 10 is called Tricky Turquoise, okay? And let me say that too, if, um, I don't know what YouTube is doing, but make sure you click the bell or that you, even if you're not going to watch my video yet, go ahead and give it a click and save it for later. And that way I won't go away on you because I think if you don't click on something right away, YouTube kind of scoots it along and doesn't show it again or something. So just a little note for you. Now this is a silver tone necklace. And... I think it's meant to look a bit tarnished. I do like that. It's not a torque, but it's almost like a torque. So you have this great big lobster claw, this hook design, and this faux turquoise in five pieces, the larger one in the middle. And I think it's probably dyed magnesite, which is a, makes a great faux turquoise. So here's the necklace and there's the back. You see how they have it sort of like a little bit of tarnish as if it were sterling so really pretty piece this measures again not easy to measure this one somewhere around 18 inches maybe a little bit longer and I made this into a set because I came across this bracelet and I thought oh my gosh that's like exact so exact gemstones really a great match so I thought I have to put those together. So here's the silver tone bracelet, very nicely constructed as a fold over clasp. Really pretty design on the chain and the way these pieces turn, it's just nicely done. I like the three stones with the six on there, I'm the five on there, I'm sorry. This is at a six and three quarters on the bracelet, so just was too good of a match for me to pass up on that one. And it's always fun to wear a set of faux turquoise. It's a beautiful color, whether it's real or not. So for pierced earrings, again, I found these 
dyed magnesite on silver tone wires and they're almost exact with that oval shape so that went together very nicely and an extra pair that aren't dangles they're more of a stud earring and these I think are more of a turquoise glass so I just like those two as a little extra pair so that's bag number 10 tricky turquoise with your dangle earrings your stud earrings your silver tone bracelet very nicely made and your necklace that is about 18 or more inches so that went together nicely it only took about a year i think so bag 10 tricky turquoise and i will say we'll just do 25 on that one okay so there's that set so we're up to 10 let's see do i have another Yes, I do. I have another. I have so many, but I've got to give them to you slowly because, yeah, this is such a nice set. I think this is going to be very popular. So this one is called Monet Butterfly. Now, for starters, I have this super vintage Monet Silver Tone chain. It's like an S-curve chain. It has the older, like, Monet sister clasp that you, you pinch it here and it opens like a, like a claw, see? So there's the clasp. It's marked Monet here and on this little maker tag. It's a beautiful silver tone chain. Quite a good long size, 24 inches. And what I had in mind for this silver tone monet vintage chain Let's see what's the best way i can do this i thought we could take this monet butterfly brooch which is very beautiful these are really collectible and it has your maker's mark on the back beautiful very dimensional silver tone butterfly brooch so cute right look at the little so cute and all you have to do with this one, if you wanted to wear it as a pendant, just slip the chain through like this. You don't have to open the pin or anything and slide it down. And just by the nature of how the chain is made, it stops right about there and it looks like a slide necklace. So that was such a cool little discovery. I love how it just sits there almost looks like it was made to be so just so so cute i love that very old chain but in great shape and love the butterfly then i have a monet bracelet as well so so far we have three monet pieces and look at that it's just cut like a diamond cut beautiful beautiful bracelet this is about a seven and three quarters and says Monet right there inside the bracelet. So just gorgeous vintage beauties, right? Now for clip-ons, I love these. They are, they open this way. So they would go on your ears like this, yep. Yeah. And they have all this open work in this lovely silver tone metal. And I thought that was great with the butterfly and all the airiness of the butterfly as a pendant or not. So I think it looks super nice together. So there's your clip-ons. So fun to be able to add clip-ons and pierced. And for pierced earrings, I have these basic silver tone hoop earrings, great shape. Nice new backs, never been worn, and I love those with it too. So this is bag 11, Monet Butterfly, and it sure is a Monet Butterfly. You've got silver tone hoops. They're about a one inch hoop. Love those, super clean. You have your open work clip-ons. Your awesome Monet bracelet. 
really older Monet necklace. So cool. And your butterfly brooch. And when you're ready to take it off, you can either undo the pin or just slide it off like that. So isn't that fun? I love that. The necklace, I'm going to give it one more clean. I think it'll move around much nicer with a little bit of cleaning because it's an oldie. And I'm going to take a minute to put this brooch right in here. So that was fun. I hope you love that set. That is true vintage and so beautiful. So on that one, let's see, I priced the necklace, the, the brooch, the other bangle, and okay, I think a really good deal on this would be, let's do 52, okay? So there you go with that. Hope you love bag number 11, Monet Butterfly. And that goes in there too, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm almost tempted to give you like a sneak peek of this. Oh my gosh, the rhinestone sets are fabulous. But again, I'm going to hold off a little bit with those and show them to you a little bit closer to the holidays. But if you need something, let me know and I can show it to you early by a picture or something. Recently, I bought these ring holders. I told you I'd get some, right? So I'm getting some rings ready that I'm thinking about selling. So keep your eye out for my next video and I'll let you know about that, okay? Some beautiful rings, some of them you've seen me wear and some of them you've seen me unbox recently. So I'll be very excited to share those. So stay tuned for that one. And also I still have quite a few really beautiful costume jewelry rings. If you missed that video, I did it, oh, I guess about a week ago or so. A lot of them sold, but there are some left. So you can go to that video and you can see the sold list and let me know which of the rings that you'd like. They're all sized in the video and there's just some really great pieces in there, okay? So thanks for going and checking out that other video. What I will do is put a link to it in my description box right below the title of the video and you'll be able to find it easily so you can see if there's a ring that might match something that you got. Well, now it's time for me to go make my thumbnail picture, make something really pretty so you'll all wanna click on my video. And then my grandson's coming over today, so we're gonna have a great time. So one more time, my email is capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And if you need to, you can pause the video at any time while you're viewing it and you can get the bag number and write it down or something like that, okay? This is the information I need when you send me the email. And last but not least, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. We do have to remind you because as you're watching the video, sometimes it just gets fun to watch and we forget to click the like button or the subscribe button. So I invite you to do that. If you like the video, you don't have to, but if you like it, Hit the like button on your way out and ding, ding. Don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified of my next video, okay? You know what I'm going to say now. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.